Rob King O'Hara here, and we're doing, and today I have some big news all, of, all iPhone fans have been waiting for. Today is the day that, the, the day, today is the day that, um, Verizon announced the iPhone. Yay for them, yay for Verizon. Yay for Verizon fans, I'm on AT&T, so this is all for you Verizon fans. Now let's check it out, shall we? So, it begins on Verizon, February 10th, 2011, the phone that changed everything it's coming to America's most reliable network. It starts at $199 for 16 gig, two-year two-year activation with data pay, data pack required, and you get all the usual features like FaceTime, the Retina display, multitasking, HD video recording, 5 megapixel camera, etc. Now let's look at the frequently asked questions. Is of course the iPhone 4. It will again point you can point your number. You can order your phone the third, but it will become everybody to available everybody on the 10th of Verizon. I mean, I'm sorry, on the 10th of on the 10th of February. Yeah, on the, on the 10th of February. So anyway, um, you can you can't have an iPhone AT and T. You can have an iPhone AT and T, but you can't keep your existing version of the iPhone because then you will take um, advantage of the nation's largest network. It costs the same model as the usual phone. Now let's talk about the let's talk about the cons. You can't use multi data use with the phone. In other words, use use voice data at the same time, so that's not allowed. Number two, you can't use it's not four G LTE compatible, and it may not work some of the new iPhone cases. So, anyways, yes. Yeah, so, so those are some of the pros and cons of the new iPhone. I hope you, everybody gets it. I hope everyone does the review. Can't wait to see the reviews of it. This has been Al King Warner here. Thank you for watching, guys, and go get that iPhone.